Top of the day to you. Let's get it done, bro. Anyways, I, uh, we got uh, the only thing I got right now. I got a microwave that quit working. It's most likely a fuse bun, but it could be electrical, like the outlet again. Um, I got a water spot underneath the sink, and I can't think of the other one. What the other one is? There's just three of them. So we definitely got a blown fuse. Let me check the power. So, out, outlet is good. We just gotta open it up, man. Gotta, the fuse is right here, right behind this compartment, so I gotta take all this off. Let's get it done, bro. Once you, once you get that off, you got one screw right there. I took it off already. Let me take this other one off. Yep. Set that aside. This little grill comes out. Got a screw on top. comes out and there's the fuse right there the power's off so I'm not too worried Ooh, that's blown bad most likely most likely put a uh, piece of metal in the microwave so let's we'll go get a new one let's go get a new microwave fuse Yeah, these are pretty small little fuses. Little 15 ampers. I bought two packs. So it just goes right in there. Now before I put this all back together, I'm gonna check it. Plug it back in. We got power. Shut the door. And clear. One. Make sure that it doesn't pop. Looks good. Looks good. Okay. So now all I gotta do is put this back together. Which is this little guy right here back on they're pretty simple and then this is just a clips in and then it's got one or two screws on it it's kind of a pain but there we go let me get up on my bucket and then we got we got a screw here screw over there screw here and then one down in there but this right here is already broke. Not me. But we'll put screws back in it. Back together. Works great. Looks like everything works. Good to go, bro. So this next one is got a little water moisture spot underneath the uh, the kitchen sink. Which is funny because that's kind of like what happened with the last one. <laughs> Let's go in here and see what this is. This might be a dishwasher issue. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. It's not wet. Alrighty. <clears throat> so, <laughs> what it is, is you got. The water lines come up through the floor and then come over and come up but it's right there in the corner i've i've had this problem before where that they it's it's the water lines leaking let me get some light in there check this out
Okay, so the water, best I could tell, I thought it was maybe this line, but rub my, it's dry. But if I put my finger way back in there as far as I can, it's dry back in there. But when you get about right there, now my finger's wet. So the problem is right in there. This is a real slow leak. That water line, if I remember correctly, it only goes back about, it only goes back in there a couple inches. But, I mean, that's a lot of freaking water. It's really, it, it looks wet, wet, but it's really, um, it's got a lot of crap in there. So this has been leaking for a long time. Long time. It's kind of like that stalagmite mite stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, I'll show you a trick. If you're blessed enough to have a paper towel or two around, you take a little bitty piece of paper towel. Toilet paper works better. And you just touch on it. That's dry. That feels dry. It may be leaking between the pipes. You know? I don't feel anything on there. Nothing on that. So this is the this is gonna be the hot side because it runs across, it goes to the dishwasher. So this is the cold side. Gonna be a pain, bro. There's a lot of solder on that, too. On that fitting. Hmm. So I don't know if it's leaking. The thing is, is why is all this wet? That's not wet. That's burnt. That's burnt. That's where it got hot from them uh, soldering. So that's the board. This is the base for the next cabinet. So this, because it's like a cardboard, you know how that, you know what I'm talking about. It's like a cardboard material. Because of that, it uh, it'll suck up the water right into the wood. So that's what's happened. Is it's just um, from the water getting on the floor. It's just leached it right up in there. It's a little bit better light. It's wet. Most likely it's going to be this fitting right here. Both of them. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem, child. <clears throat> I can dry it off the best I can. You know, I think it might be this one leaking. And this is just leaching over onto this pipe. Cause it's got cot it's got that um it's got that green on there up on the side so i bet it's this fitting right here i bet you it's this one because it's got a lot of solder on there anytime you see a lot of solder that's, uh, that's bullshit yeah i just wiped it off and it got wet again Try it one more time. Get back in there and dry it off the best I can. Get another piece of paper towel. Cause it don't take much water, man, to cause a big problem. The 
see if it gets wet. Yep. That's the problem. I just saw a drip. I just saw a drip. Right there. Drip down. Here's the good part about that is. Is that's enough. That's enough copper pipe sticking up out of the ground. That I can take this off. And I can heat this up and clean it up really good. And be able to put another fitting on that. I don't know what I'll put on that. Because this is hot water. I don't know. I don't know if I'll go back with copper or not. Because of this wood. But it is kind of wet. I'll heat that up too. You know what I'm saying? But. Yeah. Not there's going to be the leak most likely. Try to get you in there at a better angle. So you can see what I'm working with. You know what I mean? It's leaking right here. You see a puddle of water is already on there. It's got a good little leak, bro. See, when I wipe it away, see how fast it comes back? Let's give a shot. Let's dry that off a little bit. Okay, it's dry. Now watch how fast it gets wet. So right there. See if it drips. There it goes. That's the problem, bro. Okay, so on this water line leak, it's after lunch now. The tenant came home with her infant, small child. The small child is sleeping, so hey, I'll give her all the grace she wants her. It's not a, like an old crap, so I told her I'd come back in a couple hours. So what I'm going to do, and I don't like doing this, but because of the confined space, the only thing I can do really is I will shut the water off, of course, and I will heat. Uh, I will cut the pipe and get the water out, and then I'll heat the pipe up to get that fitting off, and then I'll put a short, uh, clean it up really good, get as much of that solder off as I can, and then clean it up real good and put a shark or uh, yeah, put a shark bite on it, and then put a shark bite coupling. Maybe I might use a copper and solder that back. Because out there, I'll, I'll have enough room. But the reason why I'm coming back is because I have to cut the hole out bigger. So, sometimes, it, it's no big deal. I, I got other things to do. Well, let's go look at a, I think it's a bathroom sink backed up. We'll, uh, we'll get over and look at it. Yeah, this is a full on back up here. I'm going to have to, let's see if I can open that pipe up. And uh, pop the drain, see what happens. Yeah, so what we got? We got hair. We got hair on the cut. So, I'll let that drain down for a second. And then we'll uh, pull this out and clean it out real quick. Should flow pretty good. Looks like it might be a little loose right there. A little uh, water residue. <clears throat> Should flow pretty good now. Yep, yep. Just a little bit of nasty. We'll let that run for a minute. Make sure we ain't got no leaks. Yeah, that's pretty good. No leaks. Dang on it again. Go bang it, bro. <laughs> little, little pliers to the rescue.
Now you can get a little better view of what we got to do. Heat that up, pull it off, clean it up, shark bite. Let's do this, man. You always want to be prepped. There's my gas can, pliers for pulling pipe part, wet rag, and of course, fire extinguisher. So we're going to heat that up. We're going to heat this up and pop it apart. off of there. Down. 
That feels smooth now. I'm gonna let that cool down for a couple minutes because I don't wanna put that shark bite on there and that plastic will get melted. So, right there is the culprit. Another bad solder job. Right here's the piece that was bad. So, anyways, guess where that's going to go. So, I really don't like doing this, but in this circumstance, we're going to go shark bait. Make sure I get that bad boy on all the way. These guys. She went on real good. I actually had a piece of my box, so we'll work on. Sorry about the lighting, man. My flash, my light died. So let's get this in. So if you can tell my volume changed, my mic died, I forgot to charge it over the weekend. And my battery, my flashlight died. <laughs> On the GoPro, the light died. Anyways, I'm sure you could tell what I was doing. Um, like I told her, the girl there, um, nice girl. I told her that I'd come back Monday, next Monday, and uh, um, put uh, the wood back together and put that material down on that. So. Now, FYI, that uh, microwave, she called it back in, said it popped again. So I went back, opened it back up, and she said what she did was it put a little plate of noodles in there. And I saw the bowl, plastic bowl, noodles. So I put the new fuse in again put her noodles in there and turned it on and it ran just fine. When I opened the door, it went black. It's the door switch. Door switch is faulty. That's what I had a problem with the uh, last time I dealt with one of these microwaves popping fuse was it was the door switch. The upper door switch, it arcs out. That's what I fixed the last time. So. I'll probably see what I can do tomorrow about getting a new door switch for it, get that installed, and uh, go from there. I'll show you how to do that. It's actually simple. You take that same panel off where the buttons are, and the door switch is right beside it. So it's really funny how they, that's popping a fuse, but I'll probably do that tomorrow. Tomorrow. Anyways, we'll see you guys. Peace out.